And Sheila, real Woo! quick, because my, my producer actually has your book ready for Q. So you want to promote it real quick, because we're going to put it up on the screen, because we want to put it out there because of your message, and we're going to continue back this conversation, okay. plug it in so we can put it out there. Absolutely. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I wrote the book. I had to write the book for the benefit of those who were inside. Like I said, the family members was getting it. Wife after prison called in the aftermath. Uh, and just to get the, the uh, letters coming back from the guys on the inside saying, I am Kevin. Mm -hmm. I am Kevin. This is my fourth bid or this is my third bid or uh, uh, my wife needs to to uh, read this. And uh, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. And one of the things one of the ones that I got back said, had I known this, maybe my wife would still be alive. Mm -hmm. said because a civil conversation between me and my wife turned from civil to homicide when I uh, jumped off the couch and I murdered my wife. And mm -hmm. I, read, I, I drove around with our kids for three days in my vehicle while my wife's body laid in the uh, apartment. So it's definitely a necessary conversation, man. And it's just, although it's wife after prison, this encompasses everybody. Absolutely. That was just me, wife after prison. That is just what God gave me, wife after prison. But this is for everybody, whether you're inside or out. Another thing family members really need to understand, because a lot of times we look at uh, those who are coming home or those are still locked up, like they got all the problem. Now we got some stuff that we have to deal with too. Perhaps Anthony with your lady friend, maybe she had some unaddressed trauma and that she hadn't dealt with or whatever. But again, we have to look at our issues because Kevin used to say, you need to go talk to somebody. Mm 